How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy. I'm a category manager here at Tech Rentals. So today we're just going to have a quick look at the Datataker DT80M that we have available for rent. Now we'll just uh, quickly go over some of the features. It has uh, an Ethernet port which also supports um, Modbus, external power. Now this we will normally be supplying this with an external battery. This is a plug pack that's come in here. There's also a uh, USB port for connecting to your PC. It's usually easier not to uh, use that. It's usually easy to connect to the device using Ethernet. However, uh, coming across here, we've also got a, a USB port at the top of the unit whereby we can use this for download. Uh, a couple of function keys to, you can program these up for various operations on the logger. Four digital inputs here, they float high. This is a wake terminal. This is a power supply for 12 volt or five volt power supply for external sensors. Uh, digital inputs, these float low, but are, they're also used for um, SDI 12. So you've got four SDI 12 channels. Each of them can support multiple instruments. Two high speed counters here. This is a mechanical relay, which can be controlled by the unit to open and close appropriately. A serial sensor port used, for example, for capturing um, uh, GPS information. Five channels. Now these channels are universal channels, so they're, therefore they can either be, you can either connect, um, it's a little confusing, you can connect up to three inputs to a single channel. So in other words, you have a common negative on that or isolated RS-230, uh, sorry, isolated um, thermocouples. So you put two thermocouples, one between star and hash and the other one between plus and minus. So it gives you 10 channels or 15 if you have common negatives. Um, it also supports uh, the uh, load cells and bridges. Uh, you may, some configurations of load cells and bridges, you may need to use these two terminals down here. This is uh, an analog output, uh, zero to 10 volt analog output, which is programmable. It's the analog ground. It also has a built-in modem. So if you plug a standard SIM card in, you can uh, email daily results or hourly results off, etc. If you want to dial into the logger, you'll need a specially configured SIM card, um, and we'll have, you'll have to talk to us about that. So let's get on with talking about getting it connected. Now, um, these need to be configured for a specific job. So I'm just gonna, I'll power the logger up. Now, to communicate with a logger between a PC, you load this program DEX2. This is what the dis display screen. Um, it comes on a memory stick. There are actually two memory sticks in the kit. We'll talk about the second in a minute. Now, the simplest way to communicate with it is using the uh, using Ethernet. We can use USB. However, you need to have admin access to your uh, PC in order to configure the drivers, etc. So this is often easier. Now, if we use the up arrow, we can see on the data logger what the Ethernet address is once we've plugged it in. This is plugged directly into the PC. So what I have to do is I have to come over here, I have to add a logger. So I'm going to call name, this is um, DT1, uh, um, yeah, DT1, and I'll short name will be DT1. Now I need to put the IP address in, which in this case is 169.254.0.0.0. .195, okay, now we add that. Right, now we test, now, this is now brought up, it's found the logger, we can test the connectivity, yeah, it's fine. Um, that's the serial number of the logger there. Um, so it's all fine, it's all running. Now, first thing um, you have to be aware of, uh, we, we have to, this is, we set up schedules on here which now schedule is a, a set of measurements you need to configure. Uh, one of the things that's always worth doing to start with is to go into the settings here. Now under settings, we can put inf load input information about the logger, etc., etc. But this power one uh, menu here, usually you're using the logger. Um, now it's a DT80M that we carry that will be externally powered. So we need to disable sleep if the logger is externally powered. No, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure it will sleep. So we need to change that to a no. First, first thing we need to change. The other thing we need to change or add, it's very useful, is there's a keypad. Now, a number of keypad functions 
it's worthwhile putting one here, start, and the command to start it is G, stop, command to stop it is H, and usually uh, make measurement is, um, now, uh, there's schedules in the name, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. Um, we usually program that up with, with a single schedule, and if you want to make a measurement, if you want to cause when the logger has actually started to make a men's measurement instantly, execute A will cause it to make a measurement straight away. These can be either uppercase or lowercase. So here we come back, so we're, we're, we can apply that now. If we come down to the bottom here, and we apply that. Now, right, we've configured that part of the logger. Now, the other thing that's worth doing on here is if we scroll down here, oh, that's right, this copy data. At the moment, if we want to use the memory stick to download, uh, it will download, the format it will download in is um, DVD, which is the data taker format. You're better off using CSV because when you download in CSV, you can import it straight into Excel. So we put, make that CSV, uppercase or lowercase again. Now, point using the memory stick. When you're using the memory stick uh, to download, it's fairly simple. Now I'll apply that now. Now, this memory stick is just a standard memory stick. Now, when I loaded, uh, when I, if I insert this in here, because it's eight gig, this will take about 13 minutes for this to identify it. So this has been a specially formatted one that we, we supply with the logger. Um, you have a look, there'll be two memory sticks in the kit, one for uh, with the programs on it, etc. the DT DEX2 program, and uh, this memory stick. Now when we plug this in, um, just got to get it the right way around. Now, it'll bring up a message saying, uh, reading USB device. Now, it has to load that, it has to, to record what it's up to on here, uh, it has to write various um, things on here, but this has been formatted. Right, that has only taken a couple of seconds. We can now go, if we to download, we'd simply bring up, we hit this function key and we can use up and down and we can then go copy data, any stored data. So now that's ready to, to save data, the memory sticks, makes it very easy to use. However, if you use a standard eight gig memory stick, it will take up to 13 minutes for it to identify this stick. So the one we supply with it has been formatted in a way that the logger likes, so be aware of that. Right, the next video we're gonna have is the fact we're gonna go through and we're gonna start programming the logger. Thank you very much.